We're here to measure nutrient availability at the stem site. And we do these using these plant root simulator probes. So these are ion exchange resins, which are encased in a plastic coating. And these are inserted directly into the forest floor layer and also the mineral soil layer. One type of probe ad adsorbs anions and the other cations. And we place these in the forest floor layer and the mineral soil and we leave them to adsorb the anions over a two month period in the forest. Um, the anions and cations have to be present in the soil solution in order to be adsorbed. Um, but it's a, we're really measuring the anions and cations available for plant uptake, um, which is a more realistic measure of nutrient availability in the forest. So I'm going to show you now how we do the insertion of the probes. And for each location, we have four anion probes and four cation probes that we place within the forest floor layer and the mineral soil layer. And they're analyzed together as one, as one composite sample. So again, we use the knife to insert the probes which have this um, flagging tape so we can when we come back to the site we'll be able to easily identify where the probes are and we usually pair an anion and a cation probe in a similar area. So we put four pairs of these out in both the forest floor and mineral soil. For the mineral samples, you need the flagging tape because they're going so much deeper. Two months after insertion of the probes, we come back, remove the probes and then brush off. I've just taken this probe from the soil and we brush off any organic soil material. Um, we would wash the probe with deionized water and then bag all the probes from one area together. The probes are then sent to Western Ag Innovations in Saskatoon where they're analysed for anions and cations.